Husbands, do you know how to use foreplay to up-level your wife's response and her sense of being loved? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. How to use foreplay to just increase the, the joy and fulfillment in your marriage. Hi, I'm Mary Whitman Ortiz, Christian sex educator and relationship coach. And on this channel, we talk about how to overcome intimacy and sex struggles by providing you communication tips and connection strategies. So I'm so glad that you've joined us today. Are you ready to dive in? Here we go. Husbands, how can you use foreplay to up-level your wife's experience and her total sense of being loved? Well, first of all, you have to answer the question, what is Foreplay. I mean, it means different things to different people, and I bet you and your spouse probably have a different meaning for it. Sorry to tell you. So some people think, hey, it is just the physical arousal just before intercourse. I'm not saying it isn't that, but some people also say it is the complete building up to that moment and including that moment, all of the intimacy and bonding that happens. So you see, foreplay might be happening outside the bedroom all through the day, even before you make it to the bedroom. Good food for thought right there. What else do you need to be thinking about? Hey, if you expect sex to be automatic with no foreplay, then I do have a couple of heads ups for you. That's just not biology. A woman's body does not respond just like that, just like a man. So foreplay is going to help her. It's going to be both of your friends. Also, she needs the emotional connection because she does connect all of the things throughout her day, her thoughts, her heart. And, and so she will need more than just the physical touch. Um, and truthfully, if it is a self-centered expression on your part, if it's just a pleasure, physical experience only, that is going to work against both of you. You might have a moment, but you won't have a lasting, loving marriage with that kind of attitude. What else do we need to think about? Well, number three, you need to know your why. And uh, I know this is like, I never thought about this before. Why is it such a big deal? Well, it makes a difference. And she will know if you are engaging in foreplay just for you or if it is for us. And that sense of being an us, being a unit, being bonded is, is your friend. I promise you. Um, so you need to know that sexual encounters, these um, types of arousal that is for physical only, well, it will cause more disconnection and she will find the whole experience less appealing. So there's going to be resistance. So if you don't engage in foreplay, it's going to be negative and it's going to interrupt oh, what you were hoping for, what you were expecting. So that is super important. Listen, am I answering some questions for you? I hope I am. If yes, will you give me a thumbs up? Now I have some more for you. This is a to-do list and we are going to break it down. What is the secret code to great foreplay? What you need to know first is that this starts outside the bedroom. That's right. That's what you heard. It starts outside the bedroom and it includes kindness. It includes respect and you are zeroing in on connection. May not be natural for you and that's going to be a bit of a challenge, but it's going to be worth it. What else do you need to know? Number two on your to-do list is to give attention to the atmosphere. This is even above and beyond the physical location that you have planned for your intimacy. Um, privacy is extremely important for a woman to let down her guard, to feel secure, to give herself to that moment. And, and you got to check in. What's energy level like today? Has it been incredibly stressful? Things at work, things with the kids, just 
extenuating circumstances, hey, if health issues are at play, then it may not even be a good day to um, suggest uh, intimacy together. You need to be thinking about what is going to bring mutual satisfaction does not mean identical satisfaction, but it does mean you're thinking about both of you and how you are ready to engage and participate. Third thing on your to-do list, remember the guide. These are the nuts and bolts. Take some notes. Foreplay includes words and actions. What kind of words? You got your triple A words. This is appreciation, affirmation, and affection. Those are the kinds of words, husbands, that your wife needs to hear, wants to hear. You can make that list outside the bedroom. Memorize them if you need to. Do some work so you are prepared, but that is going to be the way to her heart. Those are the words. What are the actions? Okay, kind of another code here. We are talking about indirect stimulation before there's direct stimulation. We are talking about a light or soft touch before there is a firm or intense touch. And then there will be some variety going back and forth. So it's not an immediate, let's grab the genitalia and and start and hope for something to happen. No, no, no. You need some finesse and some timing. How do you know if it's working? Well, you're going to learn from her. Now, your my f- might give you really specific verbal feedback. I liked it. Keep doing that. Do that more. Do that less. I mean, she might be that specific. Hey, but words are not the only way to express how you are experiencing this encounter. So you're going to be looking, guys, looking at your wife's body, how she's responding, how she's leaning in. You're looking at facial expressions. You're looking at those inaudible moanings and sounds that you will begin to recognize from your wife. And if you're still not clear, I would suggest if you need to ask her a question, give her just a yes or no question. That is an easy way for her to respond and not like break the mood there if if it's at a really intense moment. Okay, I hope that helps, but there's one more you need to keep in mind. (sighs) Engage your spouse with a fresh perspective every time because women change. Woohoo! Just think of it as the challenge you were born for. Hey, she's kind of frustrated sometimes too that her body changes, but it's normal and typical. And that means arousal will not be the same every time. Intercourse will not be the same every time. And you guys will need to have that dialogue. Now, maybe you need some more tips. Well, I have a relationship package I can't wait to tell you about. It's the arousal pathway. It's a video and a study guide. It gives you all kinds of of specifics, including a script that you might use, including some questions to help you talk through how you want to talk about sex. So please check the links below for the arousal pathway. I promise you it would be an amazing support for the intimacy in your marriage. And thanks so much for tuning in today. Remember, God's design for healthy sex is fulfilling and thrilling intimacy in marriage.